Hi YouTube and welcome to my tutorial uh, in, in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to take PS2 CD ISO images and converting them to a DVD ISO image now this tutorial is for ECR users only with modded PS2's now those of you who do not have modded PS2's are welcome anyway to watch this video for say educational entertainment purposes um, but anyway, um, when we talk about CD and DVD ISO images, we're talking about size. Now, CD ISO images are under 700 megabytes in size. Uh, DVD ISO images are 700 or larger. Uh, what I'll be showing you is how to take a CD ISO image and reformat it and increasing the size of this ISO image so that we can burn it onto a DVD. Now, there are quite a few programs that we'll be using uh, and all of these programs will be under the description under one link so that way you guys don't have to be jumping around to different websites and, all, and whatnot you know downloading all this stuff um, but I will also have a, a link to Emu Paradise where you can get some games if you want to now the, um, the programs we'll be using here's one DVD scan ECR disc patcher a program called Image Burn, ISO Buster, PS2 Palette NTSC, and a File Creator program. Like I said, all these will be under the description. Now, let's get started here. Uh, once you've got your, uh, you've copied the game or you, or you downloaded the game like I have here I have Gradius 3 and 4 and it's, it, it comes in a zip 7 zip file what you want to do first of, first of all is extract it we're going to extract it here on the desktop now some some of these will extract as an ISO uh, as one file and like this game here it will extract as two files which will be a bin file and a Q file so either way we can work with it it's the same thing and also uh, go ahead and create a folder like I, I've done here for your game so we'll be just extracting some uh, files from this ISO to this folder here okay okay now that that's done we're gonna open up our ISO buster we're gonna we're going to let uh, right click on this and we will go to open with and we'll go down to ISO Buster open it up. go up here and click on this here and this will pop up all the files that are in that ISO what we want to do is highlight all these all these files right click and extract objects and what we'll do, we'll extract all these files to the folder that you have created for your game. Mine's highlighted already, so I'm going to hit OK. And it should go ahead and extract them for you. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Now, since we have our files extracted, what we, what we have to do now, we have to reformat all these files to a DVD format. Okay, close this out. That's what this program here is for, the DVD scan. <clears throat> we'll open it up. What we want to do, we want to scan it for DVD. So we're going to click on DVD right here. Go up to File, go to Open. And mine already popped up, but what you would do, you just find your folder here where your uh, files were extracted to and click on it. What you want to do, take all your files and highlight every one of them like that. And click open. And what it will do, this window here will pop up. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll go ahead and start scanning. But if it does, just keep hitting yes. Some games will have a lot more files than this game will have. And it will take longer. But if this window does come up, pop up again like it done here, just keep hitting the F until, until it has the scan complete at the bottom and you're done with that. Now, 
since we have all of our files, we have them reformatted, now we have to increase the size of this ISO. Now what we have to do, we have to open up our file, our dummy file creator right here. You can choose between one, two, three, four, or whatever size you want. You can go over here to the drop window and you can click, uh, click between the kilobytes, megabytes, or gigabytes. In our case, we're going to go with uh, gigabytes. We want to make this one gig bigger in size. Go to browse. We want to save it to our desktop. And this is very important also. We need to name this z.z. The reason for that is we need this file to be the last file of the list of files in this folder that we have over here that we have extracted from our ISO. Okay? That's the reason for that. Let's save. Now we'll hit create. Okay. We're done with that. Here's our file right here. And let's we'll right click it, go down to properties and as you can see, it is a one gig file. That's exactly what we want. Cool. We can go ahead and just drag and drop it into our folder here. And as you can see, it dropped to the very bottom, which is which is perfect. You do not want it in between all these other files here, or this thing will not work. Okay. Go ahead and we can uh, really get those get those out of the way. Now what we need to do, we need to uh, make this into an ISO. That's what the image burn is for. Open it up. This will create an ISO for us out of all these files. Now we have these options here. What we want to do, we want to create an image from files and folders. So we want to click on that. Go to the browser. Um, now you want to go find your file, your folder of files, which is right here. We'll click on that. Click on select folder. Bring it up there. Now you have to go over here to labels. Click on that. You have to create a volume label for this. Okay. In our case, it's going to be a uh, Gradius Gradius three and whoa. Oh. three and and four okay you have to have that right there these volume identifiers you do not have to mess with this now there are some videos out there that say you have to write these things down say the system like a PlayStation uh, the publisher that the name of the company who made the game or whatever and I, I I've done it one time and you know and there's hundreds of times that I haven't done it and it works just fine so you know, but you do have to do this, create a volume level, okay. Now we want to do, pick our destination out where we want it to save to, and yeah, we're going to save it to the desktop, okay. Now we can go ahead and create our ISO, yeah, okay, and I will Fast forward this part, it may take a minute or two. Okay, now that it's done, we can close that out and we can also, we can get rid of this stinking folder here. Now we have our newly developed ISO right here. And as you can see, we'll go down to properties, and it is 1.4 gigs now, which is plenty big enough. Okay. Now the next step we got to do is we have to patch this thing. We have to use this uh, program here called uh, Pile to to NTSC. We want to open that up. Now what this Y-Fix offset is, this has to do with the screen position on your TV. Now if you have a, uh, see like this Bomberman card I have here, the Europe version, 
you would have to have this offset of 48, okay? 48. Now, since I have a USA version right here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop this all the way down to zero, okay? And you will also do that with uh, Japanese games also. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna okay, find our game, and it is radius three and four right here. Click on it, and we want to click on patch file. Just hit OK. When it's all done, it's, it will say patching done, all done right here. We can just close it out. Now we got to open up our ECR disk patcher. We want to patch it with this. So you want to go here, hit patch, find our game again, double click on it, and there we go. Patching process finished successfully. Exactly what you want. Cool. So uh, we're all done, man. Um, what we want to do now, is, the last step is just burning it to a DVD. Now you want to burn it to a DVD-R. Now, as far as I know, DVD R's minus R's are the only ones that will work. Uh, that's what I've heard anyway, so I haven't really um, tried any other DVD. But DVD minus R's is what I use. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, instead of going here, we use this option last time now that we have our image we're going to write image file to disk so we want to click on that uh, go up here we're going to select our game okay we want to make sure that the write speed is set at four times and go ahead and just make sure these are unchecked and that is it guys uh, this will take a little bit to to burn, but yeah, I mean, I've done this hundreds of times, and it works it works just fine. So uh, I'll click burn and just let it do its thing. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my tutorial, and hopefully it helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.